Good afternoon. This is Pamela Blue Water with JNS Biblical Productions, October 27th, 2018. Today we are going to take up a subject that raises as many questions as it does answer some. Jesus' birth and life as a child have been told in the Gospel of Luke chapter 2 and at the age of 12 when he goes to Jerusalem for Passover with his parents. After this, nothing is known about Jesus' life until he reaches the age of about 31. We have a biblical historian from the Church of the Open Window with us today to discuss the importance of what occurred when Jesus was 12 years old and visited Jerusalem with his parents. Welcome, Miss Mary Beth Violet. Thank you. So good to see you again. It's good to have you again. So uh, first, let's take a look at Luke chapter 2, verse 41 through 52 on the TV for what it says about Jesus at the age of 12. Every year, my parents went to Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover. When I was 12 years old, they went up to the feast, according to the custom. After the feast was over, while my parents were returning home, as a boy, I stayed behind in Jerusalem. But they were unaware of it. Thinking I was in their company, they traveled on for a day. Then. They began looking for me among their relatives and friends. When they did not find me, they went back to Jerusalem to look for me. After three days, they found me in the temple courts, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. Everyone who heard me was amazed at my understanding and my answers. And when my parents saw me, they were astonished. My mother said to me, Son, why have you treated us like this? Your father and I have been anxiously searching for you. Why were you searching for me, I asked. Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? But they did not understand what I was saying to them. Then. I went to, down to Nazareth with them and was obedient to them. But my mother treasured all these things in her heart. And I grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and men. Now, as this is all that we know about Jesus at the age of 12, when he was visiting the temple, what do you think this reveals, Mary Beth? Quite a lot. We know by the first sentence in verse 41 that we know that he's been visiting the Jewish temple in Jerusalem for 12 years. And he's grown up in a faithful Jewish household, which implies that he's had Judaism and Jewish law from the beginning. But this time, when he visits the temple, it's as an insider with thorough knowledge. And Luke is trying to imply to his listeners that Jesus was authentically Jewish. Okay, how do you know that? When his earthly parents, Mary and Joseph, finally found him after he'd been missing for three days, he was in intense dialogue with the temple leaders, listening and asking questions. And we know he knows what he was talking about because in verse 47, everyone that heard him was amazed at his understanding and his answers. That's impressive. Now, what about overall? The purpose of having a story told at the age of 12, the parents searching for him, and what he told them that they didn't understand. I think this is the most important part. When Jesus informs his parents and us, the world, per verse 49, I had to be in my father's house. In other words, he's stating that he had formed a special relationship with God and wanted to serve God's interests and purposes. As if he was making his own claim to his identity and mission. Mary Beth, that is quite a lot to say about one verse. I had to be in my father's house. He tells his mother that. Yes, it's a lot to say in one sentence, but the most important statement is yet to come. 
Which is what? The last verse, 52, the final sentence. Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and was in favor with God and man. Uh, in a broad sense, this is speaking about Christian education and raising children um, to, to encourage children to uh, learn wisdom and stature. What parent would not want that for their children? You know, to encourage them to reach the knowledge of God's real purposes and act accordingly. What an achievement in education for children that would be. Mary Beth, is there anything else we've overlooked in the importance of this section, Luke chapter 2? Well, this is subtle through the text because Jesus doesn't explicitly state that he's enlarging the boundaries of his own family. When he says, I had to be in my father's house, we're now getting the idea that he looks at himself belonging to something bigger than other just than his aunts and his uncles and cousins and other relatives. He is in God's house now. Thank you so much, Mary Beth. You've inspired all of us to read Luke chapter 2, uh, verses 41 through 52, just to understand this most important transition in Jesus' life. This is Pamela Bluewater for J&S Biblical Productions saying, Good afternoon. What are your thoughts on today's story? We'd like to know. So, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel, JNS Authentic Biblical Productions. Whether it's the Word of God through parables, true stories illustrating parables, or true stories in the life of Jesus Christ with commentary, you can see them all by subscribing to the most comprehensive collection of videos of biblical stories for you and your family. Have a blessed day.